Hi! Actually, I've started working on a Blender add-on for Stonehearth, of course. You can see here the Python code. It was like two weeks ago and I thought maybe I make a short video to share what I'm trying to do here and maybe I can get one or the other feedback if that is totally rubbish or makes somehow sense. So that's the Python code it's mentioned. Um, a Blender add-on actually for those who are interested in a little bit more details it's consisting of typically three files written in Python if it is an export import add-on as I'm working uh, or preparing here. So that's the, the major file which is consisting um, of the user interface and loading all the other files. And let me share the idea behind it. So I was just thinking how is the possible modding workflow in terms of model and animation. So we know that the devs are using Cubicle as a voxel editor. So you can create an object file in Cubicle and export it. Then um, we know also that devs are using 3ds Max as a 3D modeling or animation software. So they are importing the object files into these tools and they are exporting two things as it seems. One is the model as such. So let's say it's the mesh or the skeleton or the, just the figure. And the second is the animations. And then somehow Stonehearth is using both of these files, combining them and creating the animations and the look of our um, figures in Stonehearth. And this is happening here, this exchange of data in JSON. So this very important, contains a lot of speculation, right? Nevertheless, um, 3ds Max is not a free software, so I would prefer using things like Blender. And that's why I started to work on a script which should allow to um, actually use this object file and do this export here into JSON and probably also import um, of JSON files. It depends a little bit of how the structure looks like, how complex this will be. So at the end it should allow to use Blender in terms of modeling and animation. And now just let's have a show case, a short one. So here we are in Cubicle. I have a couple of settlers. Let me export them into um, object file and I do one object per metric so one of them or uh, each of them is becoming one model. The other settings for the time being we don't care too much and let me open Blender now. So I'm using 2.68. There are works going on on 2.69 at the moment. So that's the most recent version. And I just deleted the, the cube which you have when you start playing around or loading Blender. And now you go via import and you have here the wavefront object file and that's the object I've exported. If I import I have here my two settlers and by pressing Alt and Z I can actually get the texture on them. Let me remove the light source and the camera. We don't need this. So that's the two um, workers I've just loaded and each of them is one object actually as we wanted it to be. Okay, now we see here already some things which might not work perfectly with Stoneheart which is if I load them they look in this direction. If I recall it right then actually the devs are working in a in 3ds Max and they are aligned looking to the right side not to the left side. So here there are a lot of questions which are not known yet how they will be handled with Stoneheart. So I'm just writing the base and as soon as we have a little bit more details I hopefully will be able to adjust this quite easily. And one of the things might be to just um, have an option to turn them to the to the left once so they are aligned in the right direction 
uh, maybe to center them. So those are things I'm I'm figuring out at the moment how to do it. And I've done already a little bit. So let me show maybe first how you install here an add-on. You need to move the files I've just showed you into the right folder. And then if you go here via this user preference settings and then import export and scroll down, you see here I just already activated it. Uh, import export Stoneheart JSON importer exporter. That's the way how I called it for the moment. Some more informations on that. And if we go back to the 3D view, so I activated it already. Um, this allows me to do several things. Um, if I select now a settler, and let me collapse here some um, some of the options, then you see here there is a new option which you will not see in your Blender version, which is called JSON Stone Half. And here I have, for example, the option to rotate the model. So assuming that this is the way how we have to export the models to Stonehearth to have them being shown right in the game. Then I can just press this button and more or less I have done this already. Also if I select um, both of the figures works the same. So I can do this with more than one object at the same time and it shows here even how many objects you have selected and if it is one which one you have. So it's pretty easy to do things like that. Um, then another thing which might be important is you see here objects which you load from Blender are already loaded with a rotation here of 90 degrees on the x-axis. That's the reason why they are looking actually into the left direction here. Now um, no, sorry, it's not. Um, the x-axis is actually this one here, so that's the way how it should look. And here Blender is adding a rotation so they, they stand and are not lying. Um, nevertheless, you see here that there are some rotation values. Again, we don't know how the stone half JSON format is working, what informations are included in there, but it might be that the rotation has to be zero, otherwise it will be just rotated in stone half. So I have here also an option to reset these values to zero and um, also some options to move the origin. Um, so here let's make an example. I move the origin to the 3D cursor and do this also here again. And now assuming I want to have the origin in the object, in the center of my my object actually, then I can say here origin to geometry. You have the same option here in another menu hidden and here the same. And I can also center my model here in the middle of the axis. So this really depends a little bit again what Stoneheart will be asking later on. Maybe it need to be centered standing on top of it. We will see. And then again that's something I hopefully can um, adjust quite easy. And then the major part is to have an export import functionality. And this is what I've started to do already. So I have here added one Stoneheart JSON format. If I do so um, there is an option to export actually the mesh or the animation. I don't have animation included yet, so I'm starting to or I started to work on the mesh. And I can select all of them or just the selected one. Let's take the selected. I had selected actually the lady here. So let's go again. Export selected only. Let's call it couple and maybe Let's take this the girl and export. And now I've exported it into a file which is called JSON. Actually, I'm not using a JSON format yet. Again, we don't know too much details about how this will look like. So I've just created a format by myself. And if I move the lady now to the right side and I'm importing now the JSON format I've just exported, then here is the at least the model without the texture yet. So that's where I am. So I'm able to load it again on the same position, the same size. Um, so it is the, the model. It's not including yet color information. 
Um, that's something I'm working on now and actually there are some things still to be done like the color information, the animation part is not touched yet. Um, so that's one of the next steps and also I need to transform the, the file format into a real JSON format. But again there are some information missing to, to make this really um, working for Stonehearth later on. But having a starting point I hope it will be not too much work later on. So yeah, cross your fingers that this will work out at the end of the day. Um, would be cool to, to allow us to use Blender. Um, still a little bit to learn how to access all the information I need for that but that's part of the fun, right? So that's what I have so far. Maybe it was interesting as said, just a short outlook um, on what I'm working at the moment. And yeah, thanks for stepping by. See you soon.